Hey, my name is Ethan Ice. I'm a freshman majoring in electrical engineering. Hi, my name is Aiden Remont, and I'm a freshman majoring in civil engineering. Hey, I'm Joshua Shex, and I'm a freshman majoring in mechanical engineering. And, and this, this is, is the, the Dummy, dummy Helmet. helmet. You just witnessed a very serious motorcycle accident that would leave most people unconscious and unable to call for help. And this can be a very serious problem for people that ride in rural areas or even by themselves. But with the dummy helmet. <laughs> As you can see, the same crash just happened, leaving the rider unconscious yet again. But the helmet detects a crash through the parameter set in it, which will then call for authorities to come to the location to provide assistance as needed to said unconscious person. In our project, we use two different types of sensors, with the first one being a pressure sensor. As you can see, there are four of them located inside the helmet. These four pressure sensors can detect the amount of pressure that is enacted on the outside of the helmet during a crash, which in turn can determine the amount of force that a rider's head takes during a crash. These four pressure sensors are hooked up to the Arduino in the box via this quarter cable in the back. This box will be located on the back of the vest. As you can see, these four pressure sensors are located in various places around the helmet. This is due to these four places being the most common places that a rider takes pressure or force during a crash. As you can see, pressure sensor one is located in the front of the helmet, pressure sensors two and three are located on either side of the helmet, and pressure sensor four is located in the back of the helmet. The second type of sensor that we use is the accelerometer, which is used to take rapid changes in acceleration over a very short amount of time. We use this as a failsafe due to the fact that not all motorcyclists receive a force to the head during a crash. In this instance, we use it to take the rapid changes in deceleration because that's what occurs during a crash. All right, now we've talked about the parts of our project. Now I'll talk about the design process of our housing unit. See here on our housing unit, we have four Velcro strips, which will be paired with the back of this vest. This allows us to attach the housing unit to your persons while also having a removable to place it anywhere within the cord's length. This could be a backpack, your front, like your chest, or anywhere on that motorcycle that the cord reaches. Cost-wise, your main parts are going to come from your pressure sensors, which clock in about $15.50 each, and there's going to be about four of them, and your Arduino, which is going to come in around $30. Your other miscellaneous costs come from your wires, your batteries, and the accelerometer you used. Your helmet price is going to vary, seeing as we wouldn't make our own helmet, we would incorporate this technology into already existing helmet companies. So your low-end cost is going to be about $130, and your higher-end cost is going to be about $150. With the Delmi helmet, riders will have peace of mind knowing that there's someone always looking out for their safety. Yeah!